What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Lothixy and welcome back today to Roblox. How are we doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back. Today it is time once again for some brand new Beast Swarm Simulator. Today, this might be a little bit of a short and sweet video. I'm currently, I'm kind of feeling like I'm a little bit under the weather right now. So I thought I'd try and get something out at least for you guys to watch. And what better than giving you guys a new code. So yeah, actually to tell you the truth, this code I think has been out for like over a week. The good news is I think it's still valid. <laughs> At least I hope so. And yeah, we're going to do it in this video. So maybe a few of you guys might already know about this one and have used it. But I'm kind of hoping that there'll also be some people who haven't used it and then can, you know, grab the code and stuff. So yeah, we're going to do that in just a second. Now... Over the past few weeks or whatever, we have been trying to keep up with the update news. So we've been doing lots of teaser videos based off the images that have been uploaded into on its inventory. Now, so far, we've had some pretty awesome stuff. A robot bear. We've had a brand new bee, which I think is just a guess. I think it might be called the foggy bee, but that is a complete guess. It's something to do with weather and elements and I don't know, but it sounds amazing. Uh, and then we also had a bunch of new images which I think are going to relate to the dice. Uh, and then there's also that instant converter item. So there's going to be maybe some kind of robotic elements in it. There's going to be some kind of mechanical. There's going to be some like, oh, the new fields as well. The, the coconut field, the blueberry field. Um, but yeah. Just in terms of some of the new stuff, um, I would like make a separate video if there was like some actual images to look at. But unfortunately, there have been a few cool things added, but you can't really tell what they are. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll just pop these up on the screen. For example, you've got this here, uh, which is really weird. This is called Images Meteor Test. Meter Test? Meter? I thought it was Meteor at first, but it says Meter. Um, and I think this might be some kind of like meter style counter so you can kind of see on the left hand side there's an image of a uh like a honey icon and then at the bottom there's kind of like a pollen icon um so maybe there might be some kind of it might be an in-game event maybe or like a new mini game or something i thought that was kind of interesting so yeah <laughs> at first i thought it was like meteor but i was like wait that's not spelled right and then i realized that it's meter so yeah there might be some kind of new meter or gauge which is going to relate to something. I'm not too sure. Uh, there's a couple of other ones. So there's this one here, which is called Big Basic Shock. So it's kind of, you can't really see much. It's kind of like a very, very small outline of like a shocked face. And then if you go to like the other one, there's like Big Basic Face 3. Uh, and there's also Big Basic Face 2. And there's also Big Basic Face 1. So they kind of look like bee faces, um, but yeah, they, they almost look like the bee at the end of the tunnel there. Um, but yeah, the images, you can't really see too much of them right now, so I'm not 100% sure what those relate to. But yeah, in terms of new stuff, that's pretty much all we've got. Apart from also, there's an image of something called Zap. Um, but yeah, maybe Zap relates to one of these new bee special ability. Maybe it relates to a new event. Maybe it like has like a thunderstorm or something coming. I have no idea, but I thought these images were kind of cool, and I thought you want to see them anyway. So it's not usual, like the usual bright and colorful things that we can kind of look and speculate. These ones are a little bit more tricky to work out, but uh, yeah, it does seem that work is still being done on the update. I was kind of hoping by now that we might have had it, but as I always say, the updates are always worth waiting for. They're always so good. So we'll just be patient for a little bit longer, and uh, yeah, let me go and just do a quick little bug run here. Oh, well, I'll just, I'll tell you what, let's just take out the spider. Uh, let's go and take out the king beetle. I think I did my tunnel bear yesterday. Although, I'll be honest, I haven't actually really been playing too much recently. Um, I've kind of just been collecting my, my items, so I've probably done like 20 minutes a day. Uh, it's just because, like, right now there's so many cool Roblox games out. Um, so I've been playing a bunch of uh, Dungeon Quest recently, which is a super, super duper fun game. Uh, anyway, right, so we've done the king beetle. Shall we get this codes a poppin'? I think we should. Right, okay, this one is... <laughs> this one's kind of a strange one. Um, but yeah, this one is uh, is a code. So this bad boy, I think it gives you a times four spider field boost, um, which I think is going to be helpful. The spider field is kind of not the easiest field to sort of do, because I guess white pollen is... Uh, I guess white pollen is fine, but the spider field is a bit of a strange one. Um, so yeah, this one is definitely going to help. And this one is reboot, but with four O's. So a reboot, but one, two, three, four O's and a T. So it's like reboot, something like that. So yeah, ready? Three, two, one, boom. Yeah, so we got a wealth clock added. We got a stump field for 15 minutes. We got a spider field times four. And we've also got a conversion boost for two hours. 
which is pretty spicy. Am I going to get a spider field stack? Come on, come on, come on. No. He gave me cactus. Uh, all right. So, yeah, I've kind of got like a choice. I can't go and do the stump field because old Stumpy is currently visiting. Uh, and I've completely lost count. I think we've taken him down 18 times now. I think. <laughs> 17 or 18, something like that. Um, so, yeah, I'll tell you what I'll do. Oh, no, I forgot to put my gummy mask on. Oh, all right, okay, I'm going to get my gummy mask. I'm just going to go and grind out the spider field. As I always mention, always a good idea to grind it out. I don't think we're going to be, like, uh, using glitter on it or whatever. Um, but, yeah, five times spider boost, um, which is kind of nifty. Four times spider boost, even. But, most importantly, we... Uh, what did we get? Hang on, wait. Where is it? Oh, yeah, the two times the two times conversion boost. So, yeah, once again, this is one of these codes that you're probably going to want to use at the beginning of your play session just so you can get the most out of that two-hour free boost. Any hoozles, I'm going to go and farm the old spider field for 15 minutes. I'll see you guys in a sec. Well, okay, I think the old field booster is pretty much coming to an end. We've got 30 seconds more, but... Oh, actually, hang on. If we're super duper uber quick, maybe we can uh, do a quick little instant conversion. We can run back and we can get one more little, little gummy mask ability here. Come on. Speed. Speed, bees. How long have we got? 16 seconds. Come on. Give me three more. Come on. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, 15 minutes. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to boost it or anything. I'm not using any items for this one. But how did we do? Did we do all right? See, what I'm kind of thinking is that this is the point where I'm just saving stuff for the new update, because you never know. Oh, okay. 533 million from 15 minutes. That's not too bad, actually. Maybe I've underestimated the spider field all this time. Huh. Pretty good. Kind of wish I would have boosted it now. <laughs> oh, well, never mind. Um, so, yeah, I think that's unfortunately probably going to be about it for this video. So, I guess we're kind of just waiting. See what happens, really, with this new update. Um... But yeah, there's just another code, so I think the best thing that I would say is, I guess it's kind of time just to start saving your stuff. Um, so, you know, keeping that extra honey, uh, keeping your 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 crafting resources and stuff, because you don't know what's going to be coming in the next update. So I would be kind of leaning more towards saying, you know, just save up your stuff kind of until the new update comes. And then, you know, if something is not useful, you can still then use it on the same stuff. But there might be some new uses for different items. There might be some new items to actually go and unlock and buy and craft and stuff. So who knows, man? But I'm really excited. I'm just really looking forward to it. So yeah, we'll see. <laughs> but yeah, thank you very much for watching. Really hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please remember to poke me in that like button. And if you are not yet subscribed, go for it because we do Roblox done fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. Rantia!